32. Our next act is the one-woman roast battle who was the judges' choice in Wednesday night's semi-final. It's Eva Abley. I promise that you'll never find another like me. I'm Eva from the Black Country. My mum looks after me and my dad's a firefighter. I'm in the final of BGT. My semi-final was amazing. I'm back! Yeah! We just ran on TV. Simon loved me taking the mick out of him. Isn't that right, Simon? <laughs> Who would you like to see in the final? Eva. It's all me, all. It just proves that even though you are disabled, you can achieve anything. How do you feel? The shark, the maiden. BGT has changed my life. Winning would mean the world to me. I took the mic out of Simon Cowell, but this time, no one's safe. I feel like I need to say a massive thank you. <laughs> to the fire service. Because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> because without Uniform. There is no way my mum would have fancied my dad. <laughs> I mean, just look at him. <laughs> I had to let him sit front row to help with the glare from the light. <laughs> and I've been thinking. He's not the only one punching above his weight. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wondered what Dexter and Ant. <laughs> yes! Yes, <laughs> That's until I met him and realised personality is everything. <laughs> Simon, you're safe on this one. <laughs> Since my audition, it has been crazy. I've been asked to do so many things. I've even been asked to do a cat walk. <laughs> I like me. Walk. It'd be more of a cat wobble. <laughs> <laughs> so homeschooling's still going well. School dinners are the best. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't love going to the pub on a Friday? <laughs> However, I don't think the teachers should be drinking. Don't you agree, Mum? <laughs> Part of my homeschooling, in between loose women and calm down, <laughs> I do have to go for my week, loose women lesson. Where you're Disabled like me, swimming doesn't come easy. The lifeguard hates me. <laughs> he spends the entire session.
Sebastian jumping in after me. <laughs> I mean, not everyone can swim the English Channel like David. <laughs> but I certainly get more attention when I'm swimming. <laughs> I got to finish on some bad news. Oh. I've been sacked as Bob is his hairdresser. <laughs> Apparently, I was too good. <laughs> but don't worry, as you can all see tonight, I am now employed by Simon as his official hairdresser. <laughs> and trust me, Simon's parties are way better. <laughs> Champagne, caviar, certainly a step up from the cheese and wine. <laughs> I came on BGT to prove to myself that anything is possible. Yeah. And if Simon can get Teletubbies to number one, We can all achieve our dreams. <laughs> Thank you, BGT. You've been brilliant. And I've been Eva. Promise me I was off the hook this time. <laughs> anyway, that aside, uh, I think a big, big part of doing well in show business, honestly, is being remembered. And you're going to be remembered for being really funny, really naughty, <laughs> hilarious. And I, pr I promise you, you've got this real kind of like star glow about you. You really, really do. Where you've come from that first audition. So now, I mean, boy, have you deserved your place here. And I know I've said it a lot, I'm going to say it again. After that, you're probably going to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you certainly... You certainly deserve to win. You are supremely funny. You're incredibly likeable. And uh, we met before and you told me you've written a children's book as well. Oh, my, yeah, my, yeah. Well, give, please give the rest of us a chance. <laughs> I mean, just stick with the comedy for a while until you get onto the children's book. <laughs> it's 14 years old. Incredible, incredible. You, you are a superstar. Thank and I'm you so, so pleased for you. You've been consistent and each time you get better and more confident and like David you're 14 years old this is unbelievable what we're seeing a young girl up there doing stand-up comedy you are unique you are fantastic and we've all fallen in love with you it is brilliant. You're absolutely gorgeous Eva and I, I agree with what Simon said in order to sort of to work in this industry you have to have something different but for me also you have to be a nice good funny 